being the consummate pack rat that I am, I always have a box of old circuit boards. Uh, this is old power supply from PC, defunct because of the capacitors leaking. I often scavenge components from these. There's some useful FETs and Schottky diodes, sometimes just for experimentation and sometimes to repair other kit. Like I recently had to repair my hot air gun, so I just uh, pulled some FETs out of one of these old power supplies. To remove the components, clearly you need to be able to desolder them. Traditionally, I would use a soldering iron and a solder sucker, just a plunger action there to remove the solder, which is fine most of the time, but both hands are occupied. So it's difficult, especially if you want to wiggle a component out, you can't heat it and hold it at the same time. So enter a new toy. This is a 30 watt iron with a solenoid activated pump inside it. It comes with two nozzles. That's the larger one of the two. And there's a smaller one perhaps for doing integrated circuits. They also provide a handy rod for removing some of the crud. And when it gets too bad, you can unscrew this part here uh, to clean the insides. I haven't used this at all yet. Let us discover together how well it works. I can feel it's heating up there. It'll probably take a few minutes. There's quite a lot of uh, thermal mass there, which is a good thing. Transferring heat to the joints. I think we're up to temperature now. Let's just try. Yes, it's... It's melting solder. It appears to be having the right action. Let's try something quite tricky here on this heatsink. There are some transistors or MOSFETs probably. Let's try and remove the whole thing. That seems to be working very well. I'm just going to reposition the camera so that you can see it in action a little easier. The other benefit is that I can use this left-handed, which is great. That's coming off quite cleanly there, you can see. Now these are the fixings for the actual heatsink, so they are usually pretty tricky to desolder. This guy seems to be making short work of them. And there we are, straight out. Now that was an awful lot easier than the method before using the traditional solder sucker. I wouldn't have been able to do that as, as quickly and the last part of actually pulling it off would have been very much more difficult. Let's swap the tip out now and see if we can remove an integrated circuit. For that I'm going to obviously need to power it off and let it cool down. I guess if you were feeling brave, you could probably do it with a pair of pliers. Let's do it properly. Let's try and remove this integrated circuit just here. Again, left-handed. Okay, let's just see. Well, there you have it. Uh, again, that was a lot quicker and easier than the previous method. And I've bagged myself an SG6105D, whatever that is. All in all, then, I'm very, very pleased with this uh, new toy. Uh, it's going to be a valuable addition to the workshop and will enable me to extract components much more quickly. I give it a thumbs up.